All right, everyone. Today, we move in for the kill. We are making our final content arrest today involving our fight against the pop music industry and the legion of fools that accept music being sold as a product and not as a form of art. In this content arrest video, we'll be talking about Adele. Adele has a mostly clean record. The key word here is mostly. She doesn't treat her fans horribly. Well, aside from flaunting her luxury possessions and upper class status on social media, she has dealt with her father abandoning her at a young age and claims to have suffered from anxiety attacks and postnatal depression, but she is not 100% innocent. If there is one thing I can condemn her for, aside from her infringement of fair use rights against negative commentaries and reviews on her music, it's the fact that she flies private, which if you ask me, ought to be considered a crime against nature. Why? Well, I'll tell you. But first, let me reveal that I'm not just making this up. Adele does fly private. According to an article by The Mirror regarding her Las Vegas residency, Adele could be the next star to have her own Las Vegas residency. The Someone Like You hit maker is said to be discussing the possibility of having her own set of gigs in Sin City, following in the footsteps of music greats including Mariah Carey, Celine Dion, Cher, Sir Elton John... <laughs> Why did that make me laugh? Sir Elton John and <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. If Adele was to take on a full residency, she could net an impressive sum of money, with Selena bringing in a whopping 45 million pounds from over 1,000 shows in the gambling capital. And it would be an easy commute for her, as if she does go ahead with it, she will fly by private plane for the 40 minute journey from her home in Los Angeles to Sin City for each gig. And just in case anyone is doubting that Adele flies private, here's a photo of her boarding her private jet while flashing a gold diamond and ring no less. Now, many of you might be thinking, so what's the problem here? Celebrities fly private and wear expensive jewelry. That's just how it is. And look, no offense, but that's a shallow point of view. If I have to be the one to tell you, then I will tell you that celebrities are capable of doing wrong, and do wrong all the time. Yes, even Adele. What Adele is doing, flying private, is much worse for the environment than flying by commercial jets. According to BBC, it varies considerably depending on the size, occupancy levels, and efficiency. Private jets generally produce significantly more emissions per passenger than commercial flights. There are many different models of private jet, but the Cessna Citation XLS, consistently one of the most popular, burns 189 gallons or 857 liters of aviation fuel an hour on average. Meanwhile, a flight from New York City to London, England, a seven and a half hour flight in an Airbus A350 would burn through about 1,870 gallons of fuel per hour on average. This might seem like I'm making a point that contradicts what I'm trying to prove, but again, let's look at occupancy levels. The Airbus A350-1000 is capable of seating 480 passengers, enough to seat a small village. The Falcon 900, Adele's private jet of choice, which uses 303 gallons per hour, is capable of seating only 12 passengers. If we were to make a model of plane that houses 480 passengers like the Airbus A350-1000, it would burn through 12,120 gallons of fuel per hour. The carbon dioxide emissions from this type of plane would be over six times that of the actual Airbus. You also have to remember, people that are working class do not fly very often. Adele is a celebrity, a musician that flies extremely often for tours, festivals, ceremonies, and probably more, and is taking a form of transport that, per capita, is six times worse for the environment than flying commercial. She likely flies more times in just five years than most people will get to fly in their entire lives. Commercial jets are already very horrible for the environment, but now I think you see why climate change activists are so worried about the impact of flying private. Let's also not forgive her for the gold diamond ring. You want to know where the diamond on that ring comes from? Two main possibilities are countries like Canada and Russia, very large countries that brand themselves democracies but see each other as imperialist oligarchies. In truth, they are both imperialist oligarchies. Just a little more than half of the world's diamonds are produced by those two countries, likely not in the best working conditions or the best pay. The other half comes from countries such as Angola, Botswana, South Africa, and other third world countries. Botswana and South Africa particularly are part of the British Commonwealth, which is basically just a fancy way of saying that the crown still owns them. Britain, of course, being the home country of Adele. It would stand to reason, then, that by buying herself that fancy diamond ring, she is supporting the exploitation of Southern Africa's diamond mines. Let's not forget that this part of the world has a problem with exploiting child labor and their diamond industry. The diamond industry in Botswana, particularly, has been guilty of forcing indigenous tribes off their land, all for the sake of profit. Again, Adele is content with this, showing off the product of possible child labor and indigenous oppression by British puppet regimes and collaborators. So, deliberate harm 
harm to the environment, financing the exploitation of child slave labor, and enabling forced relocation and displacement of indigenous peoples. Adele, you have committed crimes against the proletariat, and your credibility has been sentenced to the chopping block. May these foul crimes stain your name forever, and may the opinions and thoughts of anyone that supports you despite your grave misdeeds cease to matter. And let the world also not soon forget that you and Justin Bieber are supporters of censorship, as you both have fraudulently tried to have negative commentaries and reviews and articles written about you shut down. Your corruption ends here and now. And that will be the end of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? What do you think of Adele flying private? Does the diamond on her ring indicate support for child slave labor in Africa? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to click thumbs up if you liked the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, as there will be more. And click the bell to get notified when I upload. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye guys.